Wouldn't you be excited if you could do less work but get more traffic? Of course you would. Everyone would. Well, today I'm going to share that secret on how you revamp content to put on Pinterest. Welcome back. And if you're new here, my name's Jen and I'm with Wed Photography Coach, not just for photographers, for all businesses. And I help you to create marketing systems to easily drive traffic to all of your content so that you could spend more time relaxing, having a cocktail, watching a movie, whatever you wanna be doing. If that sounds really good, then you should definitely subscribe to this channel and ring that little bell so that you're notified every time I release new content on Tuesdays. Let's jump right in. So first, what is revamping content? What exactly is that? Well, I'll tell you, it's really simple and it's really easy and it's a secret, but I'm gonna share it all with you today. It simply means that you take all of the content that is really, really good that you have already spent a lot of time, energy, sweat, and tears creating, whether that's YouTube, podcast, blog post, Instagram, website, whatever it is, you've already spent a ton of time making really good juicy content. And I'm going to tell you how you can drive more traffic to it with Pinterest. It's surprisingly easy to do. Step one is to go to my favorite Google analytics. If you don't have your Google Analytics set up, this is your big notification to definitely go and set it up right now today. Don't do anything else until you set that up because you cannot know how effective any of your marketing is if you're not measuring it. So I will be creating a video for you on how to do that so you can come back here to look for that. So what you're gonna do once you have your Google Analytics, you're gonna do two searches on your Google Analytics. One is for the last month and one is for the last three months. And you're gonna make a list of the top five for one month and the top five for the last three months. And you'll either have a list of five to 10, depending on how different your months are, of your most popular content. In this example, we're gonna use a blog post. So you have a list of five to 10, because you're going back one month and then you're going to the three months and you're gonna take the top five performing blog posts as an example. And you're gonna take each one individually and you're gonna do a little bit of research on it. So let's say you have a blog post that says how to pick your wedding dress, right? Um, you're gonna go ahead and do some research and find out additional keywords Keywords are those words that people type into the browser window that take them to the content they're looking for. So if I'm a bride, I might say, how do I pick my ball gown? Or how do I pick my wedding dress? Or how do I pick my wedding ball gown? Or whatever it is. So you're gonna figure out all of those keywords and figure out the most popular keywords. And you're gonna use a different title, not on the blog post, but for a pin. And real quick, I want to point out that I have a free Pinterest challenge down below, and it's basically three to four hours of a free course that teaches you all about making your Pinterest the most optimized to drive the most traffic to your website or content of any kind. So you can get that below and I just don't wanna to forget to tell you. The next step is you're gonna to go to Canva and you're going to create new pins for that blog post. I typically create eight pins on the bottom of every blog post, but you can do two, you could do four, whatever you wanna do. You're gonna create new pins for that blog post and make sure that you use different images, different colors, different fonts. You wanna make sure that they're nothing like the original pins you had because you're looking for people who newly wanna click on pins, not the ones you already have, but new pins, new colors, new trends. You don't have to have Branding colors, of course, that's nice, and especially that's what you wanna do when you first do a blog post. But when you're revamping your content for Pinterest, you wanna get creative, and you wanna use different colors, different fonts, and different images so that you get different people to click on it. And you're gonna repeat what you just did for all five 
to 10 pieces of content that is the most popular for that one month to three months ago. If you use Tailwind, you can add them all, all to your Tailwind account, and it will slowly release it over time. And if you haven't checked out Tailwind, I do have a free trial for you below. But basically, if you're not gonna use Tailwind, then you want to pin this, these pins, throughout the day. So pin one morning, one in the afternoon, one in the evening, every day until you don't have any more pins left. If you have any questions at all on how to do this or any questions at all, just put them in the comments below and let me know so that I can answer you. And today, I hope you go work on your business, work smarter, not harder, and happy pinning.